welcome all mm, today we'll be discussing about uh, general approach to a new machine suppose if you want to design a new machine then uh, we need to ask ourselves a uh, few questions and answer them and probably based on those uh, answers we can uh, design uh, a new machine among that the first and the foremost uh, thing that we need to ask ourselves is that is memory so here memory is one key important aspect so the basic things that we need to decide in memory is now what should be the uh, memory basic unit this is the uh, first question that we need to ask ourselves and what should be the uh, size and as well as what kind of addressing schemes that we would like to have so these are the uh, things that we need to address uh, under the category memory so the next thing is registers so in this registers uh, the different uh, questions that we need to ask ourselves is how many registers uh, are there or should be there this is the first, the first question that we need to ask ourselves and uh, answer that and what should be their size as well as what is their function and what is their interrelationship so this is the uh, second category the third category is regarding uh, data so here the first and the foremost question that we need to ask ourselves is what type of data which can be handled by the computer and the next one is whether it can handle uh, character data or number or logical data or how data is stored so these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves so the next thing is regarding uh, the instructions so here the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is so what are the different classes of instructions that we would like to have on the machine so whether these instructions whether it will be arithmetic instructions or whether it will be uh, logical instructions or whether it will be symbols manipulation instructions and what is their format and how they are stored in the memory so these are the questions that we need to address in this category so the next thing is your special features under this category uh, we would be looking into what kind of uh, interrupt structure that we'll have in a machine which we are trying to design and what sort of protection uh, is available the user 
So these are the categories as well as the questions that we need to ask ourselves if we want to uh, design a new uh, machine. Now what, should, what we shall be doing is we will be studying uh, or answering all these questions uh, based on uh, the IBM uh, 360 as well as uh, 370 architecture and let us see how. So under this machine structure we will be discussing uh, from the concept of IBM 360 the same is uh, equivalent to even uh, 370 also it can be uh, it is compatible so now let us take up the uh, first category uh, so that is the uh, memory so here the basic unit that what we decide is is nothing but a byte so we all know that uh, a byte is a group of 8 bits so here uh, there are four uh, unit of uh, memory that we need to uh, think of so as well as how many byte does each and every uh, unit of uh, memory uh, requires and the next next thing is length in bits so here the first and the foremost thing is bytes it requires one byte and it requires 8 bits so the next thing is half word it requires 2 bytes and uh, 16 bits and the third one is word it requires 4 bytes as well as 32 bits and here you do have double word which requires 8 bytes and which is 64 bits so this is the uh, representation that we see in uh, IBM 360 so, so this is the uh, representation in addition to this a unit of memory consisting of only 4 bits is also called as nimble so here the size of 360 that is IBM 360 is up to 2 to the power of 24 bytes and uh, the addressing consists of three components and they are the first one is value of an address equals the value of an ops offset plus the contents of the base register so the next one is plus the contents of the index register So these are the things that we need to discuss uh, with respect to uh, memory category. So now the next category that we have to take is uh, registers. So under this, this IBM 360 does consist of 16 general purpose registers. which consists of 32 bit or bits each in addition to this it consists of 4 floating point integers in 
integers consisting of 64 bits each continuation of that it also has a 64 bit PSW this PSW is called as program status word that contains the value of location counter comma as well as protection information and interrupt status in addition to that the general purpose registers may be used for various arithmetic and logical operations and as base registers the third category that we need to discuss is data so this can have uh, it can uh, store it can be stored in uh, different uh, types so few examples of that are short form fixed point similarly you have long form fixed point the next one is decimal packed and the next thing is unpacked so the next one is short form floating point similarly you have long form floating point so the next thing is logical which is associated with characters like this you can have uh, n number of uh, different data types and all these things are nothing but data formats for the system that is IBM 360-370 so the next thing uh, next category that we need to discuss is instructions So this is IBM uh, 360-370 has various uh, instructions which has to be devised. So that is for uh, to perform arithmetic operations as well as logical as well as control or transfer and special interrupt instructions so what we'll be doing is like we'll be having n number of representatives of uh, this IBM 360 uh, 370 uh, instruction formats and the last category that we need to discuss is uh, special uh, features the last category is special 
features. So here the IBM has a hardware protection in blocks of 2048 bytes and it also has interrupt structure and uh, it has three portions of an input output operation so the first one is execution of input output commands by the channel So the second one is execution of input output instructions by the CPU and the third one is communication. of the channel with the CPU uh, this can be an interrupt as well as the storing of the CSW or the setting of the CC. So these are the uh, categories that we need to discuss if we want to design uh, the IBM uh, a new IBM 360 or 370 and these are the categories in general we need to keep in our mind while designing any new uh, architecture and its categories thank you